Thanks so much for inviting us in on this Friday morning. Coming up on First Shift, why some Japanese auto executives are bullish on one competitor. Details after your headlines. The world's biggest automaker got even bigger in 2021. Toyota clinched the world sales title last year and expanded its lead over second place Volkswagen Group. Worldwide deliveries for Toyota jumped 10.1% to nearly 10.5 million vehicles for the calendar year. Sales at VW dropped 4.5% to 8.9 million units. In 2020, Toyota's lead over VW was much narrower. However, while most automakers struggled with the microchip shortage last year, Toyota mostly avoided lengthy production shutdowns. The Japanese automaker credited stockpiling chips early in the crisis and close communication with its suppliers. Stellantis is suspending full implementation of a COVID-19 vaccine mandate for salaried non-union workers in the U.S., the decision comes after the automaker pushed back a January 5th deadline for workers to be fully vaccinated. The company says the latest move is not related to a Supreme Court decision this month that rejected an OSHA rule which would have required millions of workers to get shots or regular tests. Stellantis says 97% of its salaried, non-represented workforce is either vaccinated or has an approved exemption. Although the mandate won't go into effect, Stellantis is still encouraging employees to get vaccinated. Turning to Ford, the automaker is adding a 14-day, 1,000-mile money-back guarantee to its used vehicle platform. Ford says it added the perk following a request from its dealer council. The company piloted the concept with 16 dealerships and found it led to increased sales. And General Motors and LG Energy Solution will add battery recycling to their Ohio factory next year. Ultium Cells, the joint venture between the two companies, will build the recycling center on the site of the battery cell plant in Warren. Battery recycling company LiCycle will install and operate its proprietary technology and equipment after construction is complete. The battery factory is expected to start production in August. Japan's old guard automakers are welcoming Sony to the car business. That's because they believe the electronics giant can help revitalize the auto industry at a time of uncertainty and upheaval. Sony CEO Kenichiro Yoshida announced the establishment of Sony Mobility at CES in Las Vegas earlier this month. At the same time, the company unwrapped a crossover EV prototype, the Vision S2, but offered few details about pricing or release dates. As our Hans Grimel reports, Sony is just one of a flood of new entrants that are shaking up the auto space worldwide. Speaking on behalf of the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association, Vice Chairman Toshihiro Mibe said traditional automakers expect new names from other industries and that Sony represents Japan's new hopeful. Mibe, who is CEO of Honda, saying, quote, Having additional players in the industry brings about positive competition. Toyota president Akio Toyota serves as JAMA chairman. He expects Sony to eventually join the organization. Sony is expected to leverage its expertise in digital and software technology while likely leaving the manufacturing of the car itself to an outside partner. That is our time for today. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you Monday.